Hi there and welcome. We're going to go through how to use the parent portal. So I've received my setup email from School Cloud and I need to create my password. Just follow the instructions on what is required in your password. You'll need to confirm it and then set. Now I've been opened up into the parent portal. So this is what you are going to see. I've chosen a fictitious name um, for my account just to do a demo. And so I currently have Jolene enrolled in grade one for the year 2021. So now I need to create that application, which will re-notify her for the next year, 2021 to 2022. So I click on that button and it'll just take a second. You can see that it's thinking. Just give it some time to generate that information for you. And it'll open you to that first page of your student information. And all we're asking is that you verify the information is correct. So we have a birth date, we have first name Jolene, last name sample, verify that your mailing address is still current, and the choice of citizenship is still current. You can enter information on Indigenous Aboriginal status if that applies to you. And then you can hit the next button. and it opens the next page of the information required. You can also use these save and continue buttons to get to the next page. So here we're gonna verify that the grade level for next year is correct. So we're bumping up to the next grade for this student. If you're eligible for Francophone first language education, you'll fill out this section. If you have an address um, that is different from your mailing address, so let's say you have a box number, but you also have a street address, you're going to enter that street address in here, please. Now, when we're finished verifying this information, we can hit save and continue. We're going to verify the parent information on this page. So just make sure that we have everything up to date. Your email is still the same. Your phone number for the house is still the same. If you need to add cell numbers or work numbers, you can do that here. We may have them on file already. You can enter them and we will verify that they are still current. At this time, if you have a new sibling, you can add it now with this button and it'll create that initial information, their, their name and birth date. And then you can go back to it after. So for this student, parent information is up to date. I can hit save and continue. And it, you can see it's thinking. We ask that you verify these two questions, please, of ways we can be in contact with you and you can stay in touch with other parents. I'm going to opt into the social networking list and I like my Wisdom Magazine in digital form and then you can hit next or save. And this is where your digital signature comes into play. So you can see it's um, verified my name and my email. You want to choose one of your Declaration to Achieve Outcomes, you're going to choose one of these. You're either following all Alberta programs of study or you're choosing to create that education program plan and follow the schedule of learner outcomes according to the Home Ed regulation. You're going to want to verify this information is true and then you can click I agree to the terms and that is your digital signature for your notification form. We are also asking for you to opt in or out for the use of student images if you attend any of our events and we do take pictures. We'd like to use if anything for our magazine 
um, or outside communications. You can opt in or out. Save and continue. Now it'll tell you that that application has been submitted. So that is everything for that student. You can click here to go back to the main page. You can click here to see your list of students. And you can also click on your email, your username to go back to this list. So now you can see I have an active enrollment for this year for my student. And I have finished creating that application for the following year. I'm going to open it again and it tells me at the top that we're waiting document verification. So this is complete. You won't need to verify it again. And then the office will proceed to the next step. Thank you.